Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokesu Channel and the Guitar Ladder System. Uh, I want to share this video. This is a really very, very powerful exercise to, ve to develop right hand technique. Now, you can vary this exercise, but if you do this an hour a day at least, maybe even more, you're going to get some incredible results. It's going to teach you how to create tension in your right hand. So, here's the exercise. You can use any kind of a scale you want. Uh, I kind of like using a harmonic minor scale, but you can use a major scale, anything you want. So it's like this. It's a combination of hitting seven notes. Here we go. Let me just show you. And then a five. So you can use any scale you want. You don't have to play it fast, just play it clean. Two, three, four, five. Now you're probably noticing I'm doing some muting with my right hand because that creates a little more tension for your right hand and helps your right hand to have to work a little harder, get the blood vessels flowing, get them popping, and that helps uh, create technique. So you can use any, like I said, you can use any kind of scale that you want. And I'll, I'll start here with another different form. It's like you're doing, and you could do the other way. You could do five and then seven. Okay, so and and the whole, the, it's kind of like um, getting positive deposits into your bank account. If every time you play clean, you're building technique. People don't realize this, but. There's nothing earth shaking about building technique. It's about kind of uh, uploading the information into your subconscious mind and your nervous system, getting your nervous system used to this, building new neural pathways to, to the science of neuroplasticity. But, th but this just you can just keep the idea simple. Just practice super clean and slow and don't worry about speed because every time you do it correctly, you're building technique. Let me repeat that powerful statement. Every time... <laughs> Every time you do it slow and clean, you're building technique. Every time. Cumulative is the, is the key word here, folks. Learning to be a great guitar player, or let's even not put so much pressure on ourselves. Just, you know, ex the, the, universe, the universe is into expansion. And so to expand your level of playing, no matter how good you are or whatever, it's just a great thing to do. It feels good. So in order to expand your playing, no matter where you're at, if you practice slow and clean and practice the right stuff and get a really good focus, learning to play guitar better and learning to grow as a, as a musician and artist, regardless of what level you are, it's, it's, a, it's a focus point. It's learning to focus your concentration, learning to develop kind of a laser focus, and that can start with something as simple like this. Okay, so now I'll start with five. Let me show the right hand a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Or I could start with seven. Now I can I cannot do the muting. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. But I really think doing this with the muting really helps build build technique because it creates a little more tension. So, so you have this. And just by the way, it takes me about an hour to warm up, so I'm not going to sit here and try to play a million miles an hour. Or try to, I'm not trying to impress you. I'm trying to share a technique that can help you greatly accelerate your right hand technique. I think this is one of the best exercises in the world for developing right technique. And I've seen students who worked on this have just had amazing results. So again, it's not about speed. It's about playing nice and slow and clean.
So you need to have a good attitude when you practice this. You can't sit there and practice it and say, oh, this is boring. Then you got the wrong attitude. It's not, it's not going to cooperate with the law and with the science of neuroplasticity, which it basically states, it states a lot. But one of the things it states is when you have a positive attitude about something, your mind, your unconscious mind kind of has an open switch and a safe switch and it allows it to, to kind of go through the system, build new neural pathways and take some quantum leaps. And you can use you know, any kind of scale you want. You can use a diminished scale. Like I said, you can start with the fives and then go to seven. See, I'm sorry. Okay, so the importance here is to play slow and clean, okay? One, two, three, four, four. This is the kind of stuff that people like Al Demiola used to practice hours a day. It's one of the reasons he's such a freaking monster. Single note, I, mean, I love his compositions too. I've been watching him on... YouTube recently doing a piece with the um, nylon string guitar. And it's just incredible. And his single note technique is so exciting. And I just love all the kind of Siberia, and, or Sib I forget what the name of the tune, I think it's Siberia or Siberian. But he's got such a nice feel for the kind of, kind of Latin thing, you know? But anyway, work on this exercise an hour a day. And if you have to break it up into like, you know, three or four different 15 minute sessions, that's okay. I personally would suggest you do it like 20, at least 20 minutes at a time. If it's hard to do an hour, do, do like 15, 20 minutes, a little break, 15, 20, maybe later at the night, do it again. But again, seven and then five or five and seven. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? Sounds like an Hendrix song. His six was the nine. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it so work on that and again learning to improve as a guitar player is a beautiful thing don't keep comparing yourself to other people don't worry about that just it's all about it's never ending but we're always constantly growing and evolving and that's what feels great uh, you know everything in the universe is in a constant state of, of moving on evolving changing and expanding it's a beautiful thing you don't have to feel pressure about that just let go and trust all right take care Bye.